Joining us right now, New York attorney and legal analyst Angela Sindela. Angela, thank you for being with us again. Now, if authorities are looking at how that gun was loaded, as we were hearing from our Alex uh, Capriello, could involuntary uh, manslaughter charges be considered here? What about any other charges? Yes, absolutely involuntary manslaughter. So somebody died here in the name of creating entertainment, and there should not have been live ammo anywhere near the set. Involuntary manslaughter is when somebody dies as a result of a lack of caution. Pretty clearly here, that lack of caution is whoever brought live ammo onto the set. The district attorney also saying she's not clear whether criminal negligence occurred before the fatal shooting, though. We have thought about uh, all of the things that we're hearing, uh, just this, the, the anecdotal evidence alone, uh, that some people on set were complacent, uh, that there was tension already on set because of other circumstances uh, regarding work conditions. So what does that criminal negligence charge actually hinge on? So look, when everybody does what they're supposed to do and a shooting like this happens and it's just a tragic accident, but when people start doing things they weren't supposed to do and start actively and willfully endangering others, especially in a workplace setting like this, that is what can raise the bar to criminal negligence. So pretty clearly here, it was a movie set. There should not have been live ammo. So the criminal negligence, as the DA said, will hinge on who brought that live ammo onto yeah. the set. Right. And I'm guessing that that's some of the research that is needed. Do you, I mean, in, in seeing a case like this, we don't see this every day. Obviously, so many comparing it to the case back in the 90s involving uh, Brandon Lee, Bruce Lee's son, who was shot on set. But how long do you think something like this could take with all of the factors that we're looking at here? It will definitely take weeks and maybe even months. So the first step, which is, seems to be what they're doing now, is looking at all the facts, so the search warrants, seeing from A to Z, how did this person unfortunately get killed? But the next step, which requires the research and analysis, is to connect that to the industry standards and to figure out the context. So Alec Baldwin, had he done this on the streets of New York City, he would definitely be liable for manslaughter. But because it's a movie industry setting, the standards are different. And the last step would be the DA actually connecting the dots to New Mexico state law and seeing what was what what laws were actually broken. When it comes to the movie set environment, now that you've made that point, would that affect civil charges and how they're implemented here and not say on the streets of New York, like you were saying? Absolutely. So I expect so many people to be named here in a civil lawsuit because civil negligence has a much lower bar than criminal negligence. So there's obviously the AD, the production company, Alec Baldwin, both in his capacity as someone who shot the gun without checking it, but also as the executive producer. Did he have a role in the hiring decisions? Did he make budget cuts here that caused this shooting? Mm -hmm. So the civil liability would likely be a wrongful death lawsuit. So anybody involved in that chain of events. And then most interestingly, I think, is the director himself. So unfortunately here, he's a victim because he was also shot. But he is likely the one who is responsible for hiring the AD, for making sure safety protocol was followed. So I expect him to be named as well. Wow. In New Mexico, yes. And there's no cap on damages. And juries have awarded hundreds of millions of dollars. So this will be huge. Yeah, this will be huge. And, and it's already so emotional for everybody involved. And you just wish that it had never happened. And hopefully it never happens again. Thank you, Angela. We appreciate you taking time to join us this morning. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.